What's you up to? Don't face me now. I'm focused, in the zone, ready to do this thing. And what might this thing be this time? Playwriting. It's my new essence. My calling. My desire. My arse. What? Uh, nothing. Uh, what's the play about? Well, I don't know yet. I'm just going to let ideas come over me, like... Like the sweet nectar of life. Huh? Right. My taste buds don't work anymore. Huh. <clears throat> right. Uh, Have you moved it again? Oh, don't tell me you've lost that bloody beer mat again. I tell you, the thing is, it's only TARDIS the amount of times you've misplaced it. Look, the whole world is going to end right here, right now, unless I find it. So that's how lucky it is to have stopped harping on and help me look. Did you put it on the table before you set everything up? Yeah, I'm not that daft. Well, could it be under the laptop? No. Have you looked? Well, of course. I... I can't think of a single thing right now. Go with something classic. Start with, it was a dark and gloomy night, and go up from there. What have you been sniffing, you cretinous excuse for an ornament? It, it was a dark and gloomy night. Cliché is turning over in its metaphorical grave every time those words are locked in. Come on, there's something else. But there's still nothing else. Ooh! How about a superhero story? It was a play. You can make the superhero a woman for starters, and she could get her power from snow or something. You can produce snow on stage, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's not bad. Keep going. It could be a superhero musical. I love it. And, and she could have some sort of a partner or side yes. kick or something. And she creates from snow with her magical powers. Brilliant. I, I could call it... Uh, Frozen. Frozen, like a... Let it go. I'm getting a coffee. Turn away and slam the door. Right, this time I am doing this thing. I need, I need original ideas, something completely random. You have to grind those coffee beans yourself. You've been gone ages. I needed some time away from that negative vibe that you've been throwing out. Oh, I'm hurt. Look. Hurt. You're hurting my feelings. I'm really hurt. I'm going to try a technique I was told to help the play develop. Is it called typing? Mm. I can feel the creative juices flowing. Oh? Oh, yes! Oh, come on, Brain, I'm on fire! Really? Yes! What? Do you see that? I know! But that's... I know! An episode of Paul the Midwife! I know! I watched it earlier. So I've got musicals on the top shelf, because I like those best, then rom-coms on the shelf below. What am I talking about? No idea. My mind is void in the wisdom of fresh knowledge. I mean, all the films in the world are on Amazon or Sky or Ice Picks. Netflix? Or whatever flick. <laughs> oh, I've reached the stage where my cabbage patch brain is just cabbage. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure everyone rearranges their DVDs from time to time. They're on videotape. Excuse me? The films, they're on VHS tape. You own films on VHS? How many? Four. Four? We were gone hours! A couple of the genres overlapped. Overlapped? But I couldn't decide whether to put any get your gun into musicals or westerns.
Have you seen my beer, Matt? No. Can't have gone far. Yes, I... I can do this! I... I told you this was lucky to have! What, now? Yes! What? You're really ready to do this thing? Yes. Cramming your fingers? Can't think I'd stop hot. It was a dark and gloomy night. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If your mother said don't chew it, do you swallow it in spite? Can you catch on your tonsils and you hear it left and right. If the chewing gum loses flavor on the bedpost overnight, on the bed.